I've had a really nice workbench for a few years now, and it was about high time I made one for my wife. She does wood carving projects and makes canes. So using this workbench that can be found on Curtis Buchanan's site as inspiration, I was going to make her a carving bench. The workbench top will be made out of laminated maple, with the breadboard ends and the legs being made out of an African mahogany called kaya. I started out by milling up the maple for the workbench top, trying to keep the thickness as close to the tail vise hardware as I could. I jointed one edge on all the boards and then ran them through the table saw to get them cut to width. I then jointed one face on each of the boards and would run them through my thickness sander. A benefit of using a thickness sander in preparation for a glue lamination like this is that the striations will mesh together and help mitigate the size of the glue line. It'll help make it disappear. Um, bow makers use this trick and it works quite well. Messy business, but glue is cheap, so it's better to use too much than not enough. I probably could have come back about 15-20 minutes later to clean it off, but I let it sit overnight, and cleaning it up with a card scraper wasn't too difficult. The instructions that came with this vice were uh, vague at best, so I kind of just had to wing it and fiddle around to figure out how to make this work. I knew I wanted the vice to work in such a way that the opening for the vice would be right in the center of the workbench. So the first thing to do was to take the two boards that were going to be the front and rip them in half, and then I could figure out from there how to attach the vise. Trying to describe exactly how I went about milling this piece to fit the, the vice hardware would probably be as convoluted as the instructions were, so I'll just show you what I did.
There was a lot of sneaking up on the fit, testing it, milling away a little bit, and then testing it again to try and make it all work out perfect. For the front of the workbench, I picked out a nice piece of uh, quilted maple. I'd had it sitting around the shop for about five years now, so I guess it was time to use it for something. My wife has a leaf design logo that she uses, so this workbench is going to have leaf inlay and uh, some design elements in the legs to mirror that. Thankfully this workbench top wasn't too unruly to move around, and uh, but it was a little bit thicker than my table saw could resaw in one pass to square off the end. So I ran it through and then I took it over to use a jigsaw to cut the rest of the waste off. Using a router, I made the tenon for the breadboard ends. To make the chop for the vise, I cut off a big chunk from the material that I was going to use for the legs. The piece of quilted maple that I was going to use for the face of the workbench had a crack in one end and it was just barely long enough to be used so I had to be careful when I dovetailed into that end. Using a chisel I ground down to about a sixteenth of an inch wide I could get into those tiny dovetails. Using contact cement, I put a leather that would match the mahogany on the inside faces of the vise. The top then got a couple coats of tongue oil. I turned a maple dowel on the lathe for the shaft of the vise hardware and then capped it with some Kaya mahogany ends. Please like and subscribe and share this video if you find it helpful and thank you very much to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are great. In the follow-up videos to this project we'll be showing how we drill the dog holes to hold the hold fast that I got from Black Bear Forge and also we'll be making the legs and a cabinet to hold all of the carving tools that will go above the workbench. Thank you for watching.